before His Eminence gives you his little reflection, I have a surprise, happy surprise for you. A letter to His Eminence from the Secretary of State in the Vatican giving the best wishes of Pope Francis. And I'd like to read it. To His Eminence, Cardinal Leonardo Sandri, Prefect, Congregation for the Oriental Churches. His Holiness, Pope Francis, sends warm greetings to the organizers and participants of the In Defense of Christian Summit, taking place in Washington, D.C. from 9 to 11 September 2014. The theme of this meeting is very close to the Holy Father's heart. He has often expressed great concern for the situation of Christians who, above all, in many parts of the Middle East, suffer deeply the consequences of regional tensions and conflicts. His Holiness renews his plea that the rights of all Christians and adherents to other religions be upheld so that they may live with respect, freely professing their faith without harm to their dignity, without being deprived of the necessities of life, and without being robbed of their future or forced to flee as refugees. The Holy Father encourages everyone to pray for them and urges the international community to make every effort to bring this humanitarian crisis to an end in order to protect all victims of violence and to ensure that the necessary aid reaches those who have been displaced. His Holiness earnestly hopes that this summit at which representatives of the Oriental Churches are present, will bear much fruit in order to ensure and strengthen the presence of Christians throughout the Middle East, where, although a small flock, they are called to fulfill an irreplaceable mission for the good not only of the Church, but of society as a whole. As the Holy Father had occasion to say at the plenary assembly of the Congregation for the Oriental Churches last November, quote, we must not resign ourselves to thinking of a Middle East without Christians. For 2,000 years, they have confessed the name of Jesus and have been fully integrated as citizens into the social cultural and religious life of the nations to which they belong, end quote. With these sentiments, His Holiness cordially imparts to all those taking part in this meeting his apostolic blessing from the Vatican, September 9th, 2014, Pietro Cardinal Parolin, Secretary of State. <laughs>